One or two? One. That was not an appropriate view there, Jiggly. Save that for your place of employment. <laughs> I don't think she works anymore, though. Welcome back, everybody. Down that like Sam, an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go back out and continue our random looting, our systematic random looting of the town here. Uh, so let's see. Last night, I went out and uh, I went to this oil shale place and mined up all the oil shale that's there. There wasn't a ton there, but there were some. Uh, we no longer need that either, so we can go ahead and delete this marker. Uh, how? Do, oh, right here. Okay. Um, so. I got that, um, and I got this much oil shale here. I had a little bit more than that, too, already, but I can't actually do anything with it until I learn the gasoline schematic, uh, which takes a Tier 3 uh, research station, uh, or maybe we'll luck out and find it somewhere. Okay. Uh, I also did a couple other changes on the base. I, I moved a few things around here, moved the blacksmith's forge closer to the smelter, or the furnace, rather, Move the fuel tanks over here and this chest over here and the mortar and pestle there. So it's next to the chemistry station. I took all of the dirty water that I currently have as well as um, what I had in the well and started filling up this just so we have a spare, uh, you know, a spare reservoir of water there. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And then, of course, we've been harassed by the damn zombies all night long. I did manage to kill a dire wolf earlier. So, uh, oh, and I did some... Uh, you can see, too, that it's day 30, so I actually took yesterday, in-game day, off completely after the horde and just went out and did a bunch of hunting and gathering eggs and stuff. And so we have over 100 raw meat, and I have 16 uh, bacon and eggs made up from those endeavors. So, uh, yeah, we're in pretty good shape on food. In fact, let's eat one of these right now because we need to. And we'll also drink... Uh, here, yeah, let's actually drink a red tea here. Okay, and then we're going to um, we're gonna actually put some of those red teas back just to reduce our weight a little bit here. So let's go here. Now we are we are pretty darn heavy. Uh, we're over a hundred pounds with what we're carrying right now. Um, we could probably reduce the quantity of shotgun shells that we are uh, carrying around. Probably let's let's keep. 50. I mean, we probably don't even need that many, really. And we don't need 19 pipe bombs, either. We should... S uh, I'll keep a few of those with us, just in case, but... Uh, most of those we need to be saving for Horde Night. Uh, arrows are... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's only take about 50 of those, too. That'll lighten us up just a little bit more. There... And I think I won't... Uh, oh, we definitely don't need that many 792 rounds. Because um, that's just for our hunting rifle, which I started using, but I have really terrible skill in at the moment. Yeah, 29 is good enough in that. Uh, let's make it an even 30. What the heck? Okay. And so everything else I think I want to keep with me. And uh, yeah, so let's go out and start doing some more random looting. Uh, I am going to take... A quest from the trader too, just because there's no reason not to. And if um, we come across the POI in our systematic random looting that the quest is in, we'll just do it. So that way we get the extra goodies from it. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, we're doing really good on... Uh, oh, no. Actually, no, we're not. I was going to say we're doing really good on money, but I ended up spending most of that money on this... Uh, blue A AUC, which I just love. This this gun is is a really really good gun for us right now. Super good gun. And you are all right. So your inventory, by the way, resets on day thirty three, well, and it's kind of day thirty. Okay. Customer are you, anyways? I think I've already looked through. Yeah, we've already looked through all of this. Let me just double check it one last time. Yeah, titanium machete. That'd be nice. This would be nice too. This a blue AK, but. We're not quite ready for, for that stuff yet. Uh, okay, so what's this? Car wheel. Now we can get those for free. Uh, so let's get his job. Uh, his tier three. The one that's in this town is not available. So um, let's just take a tier two. 
and I think we get the most bang for our buck with a fetch and clear. I've got a job for you. If so, you're not up, yeah, well. okay. I'm I'm almost positive we've already done that house anyway, but we'll do it again. Uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing those health bars, uh, but we have until day 33 to get those, so we'll come back for those later. Okay, let's check Raiden's uh, inventory again. Again, I know I'm, I've looked at it, but I just want to double check it. So he's got a a low grade compound crossbow, but like I said, I'm I'm, I'm probably I'm not going to deliberately. In other words, I'm not going to necessarily buy. Well, I'm not going to promise anything, <laughs> but. I want to I want to use the normal bow a little bit more than I normally do because I usually go to the crossbow just to do something different. But no promises, okay? I'm not promising anything. If we come across a really high level crossbow, we're probably going to end up using it. That's just all there is to it, okay? Uh, so fair enough, fair enough. Uh, nothing really here that we're interested in either. Okay. So okay, let's go. Let's do this. All right, now I don't remember exactly where we left off last. Uh, well, I, I, I have a general idea, so we'll just go over there and look at stuff, and it should become clear uh, where we left off at. I think we did, I know we did this place here, um, and we've done everything back that direction. This is our, this is our um, uh, workbench. This is our workbench house, so we're not messing with that. We're not taking any quests there either, because we would reset the workbench, of course. Uh, we did this little place here. I think we did this little brown house too, didn't we? Or did we? I don't remember for sure. Yeah, the door's open. The door is open, so chances are we did indeed do this. Okay. I vaguely remember doing it. I just couldn't say for absolute an absolute certainty. All right, this house we've already done once, but it's also where the quest is, and it just happens to be the next house to do. Um, I think we did this place. No, I did this place on stream. Okay. So what do you know? The next house in line is, in fact, the quest house. So that kind of worked out. All right, let's do it. Now uh, we'll just park the bike right there. Um, everything's already, should already be looted in here. Yeah, see, there's, these are all empty. So, okay. Here we go. Uh, this is a fetch and a clear. Oh, what did we just get? Oh, look at that, you guys. An aviation engine. Nice. I mean, we're not going to be able to do anything with it anytime soon, but that was a good find. We will definitely make use of that uh, when the time comes. We've got another toolbox here with some iron. We're going to pick that up. I probably have more of these than I actually need, but we'll pick them up anyways. Okay. Grab that. Um, I think I mentioned to you guys, maybe I didn't. But uh, one of you guys told me in the comments that you get a lot more clay from these pallets than you do from digging in the dirt and suggested that I start harvesting them. And so I agree with that and we will start harvesting because we can use that clay, of course, to make bricks. And we're gra grabbing cement when, as we come across it too. Okay, cool. Let's grab this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be a little more intentionable uh, intentionable yeah intentionable intentional with grabbing plastic um, because we need that for shotgun shells amongst other things which you don't in vanilla but it makes perfect sense because shotgun casings are made out of plastic well, most of them are some of them are made out of paper but the vast majority of the ones I've seen in real life are made out of plastic so all right jump over to here. Grab all of these good resources. And, you know, since we've already done this house, I think we're going to time lapse this one and I'm just going to tear through it. All right. So enjoy the music, guys. Let's do this.
right, let's see what we get here. Shamway box, little tea and some food, medical pile, pork bites and some aloe cream, some boots and some 556s, five 18 to be precise, which is great. Let's check the weapons bag. Oh, nice. We got a hunting knife. We'll have to compare that to the steel knife. The steel knife's probably better. I do have my luckies back on, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. And the fat loots. Um, okay, this is not an upgrade from what we have. This I'm going to scrap. Because I usually in the in the long run, I usually just end up with the, the heavy armor mods, anyways. Uh plating mods. Okay, that's it. Uh let's pick this up and scrap it too. Uh, just because I have so much crap on my inventory now, I'm gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the base, drop stuff off, go to the trader, and then I will meet you guys. Um, act, yeah, we'll go to the trader because I, I need to turn in the quest. So yeah, I'll just see you there. Okay, let's see what he's got here. What do you need? Surprise! surprise. Scrap knife worth forty-five. Want something or padded boots now. worth fifty-six. We'll take here the padded boots. Let's take another tier two job from him. Probably a clear at Victorian house is good enough. Well, no, let's do the fetch at Victorian if you house. Agree to help me. Okay. I'll pay you. Fantastic. All right. Um, I'm I'm not gonna sell to him now. However, we did get a little cash, so I'm gonna buy these. And uh, let's buy the sugar butts too. And I think everything else we're just going to leave in there. I'm not really buying canned food anymore unless I'm really low. Uh, because we've been doing fine, you know, with hunting and egg gathering and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to drop stuff off. I'll meet you guys at the next location. All right, this is the next place for us to do. Uh, right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've already done the blue house. I did that on the live stream. Don't think I've been in this house at all, not even for a quest. So, let's go ahead and get started here. We'll loot the outside stuff first. Um, I did check that uh, that hunting knife, and it wasn't. It was way inferior to our green steel knife, and I figured it probably would be too. But it was worth a check. Uh, this is where it wants us to go in. Let's grab this light. Though we're not really following the quest, so we don't necessarily have to follow the normal path. Eh, we probably will, though. Why not, right? Oh, we got some skill points, ladies and gentlemen. We have some skill points. Let's take a look at those before we head on into the house here. These grab... Uh, well, these wooden ones give us planks. So, always worth grabbing. You do this enough, and you won't even have to make planks in the in the thingamadoodle. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's look at our points here. So we are two perk points. Uh, we're focusing on strength. We're gonna get strength up to an effective seven, which then means we can put the next point into Skull Crusher four. Um, oh, wait, did that? We, oh, yeah, you know what? It costs us both of those points to get to seven. That's right. Okay. So we'll have to wait till the next time around, and then we'll put this into four. 20% uh, more damage on the sledge and a 40% chance to knock down the enemies and 20% chance to knock down everybody in front of us, which is super useful on Horde Knight. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, at least unlock the door. I'm, as you guys have probably noticed, I'm trying to unlock everything I can just to get the skill up. There we go. Whether we actually go through that way or not, doesn't matter. We got to get that skill up. Okay, we will go. We'll go the actual way it wants us to go, though. Just, just cause. I've probably done this house before, but I'm not sure. Is this another one of those landmines in the, uh, in the attic? I think it is. How did that miss? Okay. 
iron arrow. Yeah, this uh, this hunting knife is really good for us right now. <clears throat> okay, we got a book out of that deal. I check this. We've got some brass, some cotton seed, some uh, gunpowder and whatever stuff, cloth, pants. Yeah, pants. We'll grab this stuff here. We should be able to make a nice big old pile of bricks with all the clay that I'm starting to gather now. All right, that's good. Don't see anything under there. Glass. And nope, I don't care if that's not repaired. Or I don't care if we can't pick it up. It's not a big deal. We'll grab it if we can. If we can't, we're not going not gonna to worry about it. Let's get this concrete. Okay, we're going to have a drop down into the room, so we're going to have to get our machine gun ready. Nothing in there. And some adhesive. Okay, make sure everybody's loaded. Case in point. It was loaded, it just wasn't fully loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. Okay. We're good. Let's close that door while we loot in here. Uh, we already know that, so we can scrap it for the points. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nothing there. We'll grab this for the materials. Uh, got a desk, or a dresser rather, here. Okay, we'll end up taking the die off of that and selling the whole thing. Um, we should probably start thinking about uh, doing some wrenching too, because we got to get that skill up as well. Plus, we get you know good materials from doing the wrenching. Look at that pipes and springs. I love it. So the big king beds, I'm just chopping up with an axe, but these metal ones we'll use the wrench on. All right, cool. Let's do this. Oh, we already got their attention. One or two? One. That was not an appropriate view there, Jiggly. Save that for your place of employment. <laughs> I don't think she works anymore, though. I have a feeling that she probably doesn't work anymore. Can we... Yeah, we can't tag his head. We're going to have to get his attention that way. Oh, I thought he was at the door already. And before you guys tell me in the comments, yes, I know my timing on the opening and closing the door is off. Ooh, look, acid, that's good. Uh, but... It's all right. Doesn't matter. We're kicking their ass anyways. All right. Anybody in here? Yeah, there we go. Got some duct tape and some seeds. Let's take this apart. I know I can take the doors apart for hinges, but I already got a ton of hinges. So, I'm, again, selective looting here. Selective looting. Some people that play this game loot everything all the time, and that's great. If that makes you happy, then do it and enjoy your life. Me, I loot selectively. I loot what I feel like I need at the time and have time to loot and want to take the time to loot. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got a thing here. Take this apart. We need more pipes anyways. We should actually take these apart too. Get some electricals and some scrap. We might get some Zeeks around the corner there. Uh, we got a charge here. Good, good. Get a little bit extra Joe. Let's keep the hammer down there. Yeah, there's probably some zombie doodles in there and maybe even in there. Let's loot in the kitchen first, though. Oh, okay. All right, I think that's it for the kitchen. Got a little plug here. All right, we'll check in here. 
Nice, we got some cordage. Washing machine. More vendor fodder. Ooh, are these Lucky's five? No, they're only three. Okay. The ones we're currently wearing are fours. No Zeke's in this room, huh? Unless there's someone back there. Definitely going to be someone in there, I'll bet you. I'll bet you. Let's grab this and these couch pieces. Get those nails, get those boards. Grab that for... Uh, oh, you know what we should start doing now that we have a wrench? We should wrench those because I believe we get more material if we wrench them. We already picked that door, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's, um, if, if I just scrap this chair, I think all I get is one or two pieces of leather. But if we wrench it, we should get some, oh, we got mechanical parts, leather and scrap iron. Very nice. Okay, so from now on, we wrench. Okay, pretty sure we're going to get some company in here. Yep. Yeah. And maybe in here, too. Sure enough, ooh, this is going to be a tight headshot. Let's see if we can do it. We did it, but it wasn't enough to take him down. we got to get a better bow and our archery skill up a little more for that's going to happen on Larry the Lumberjack. He's a tough son of a... All right, we'll grab the chair. I should be wrenching those too, but again, I'm not going to wrench every single thing. Got some meds here. Nice. That's a pretty nice little pile of stuff for a, a trash can. Don't see anything else in here. We got a safe and the fat loots room. Okay, let's grab this first. A little adhesive action. Chamois crate. See if we can get another meal that we don't know yet. I'm saving all the big meals so we can make the schematics from them. Oh, uh, there we go. Look at that. Nice. So we have um, we have meat stew, we have hobo stew, and now we have sham chowder that we're going to turn into schematics when I am ready to spend the points on that. That is really good. Okay. Nice find. Uh, this is not not an upgrade. Well, it is. No. Yeah, it's not an upgrade. And some more five, five, six rounds. Love it. Let's grab this. Now, um, do I want to burn a jailbreakers for a wall safe? Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. We'll see if we get anything good or not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I just don't have high looting skills, so you know, opening it is one thing, opening it and getting something good out of it is a whole another matter. So let's just see what happens here. All right, give us something good, game. All right, all right, all right. You can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. That's f cool. And I think the end of... Here, let's let's take it. I think the end of the Great Heist is worth getting, too. Let, I don't remember what it is. Let's look at that. Okay, Great Heist. Learn how to craft bobby pins. Increase bobby pin and lockpick durability by 25%. Yeah, I mean, everything in this tree is really pretty useful. Except for seven, because that's only going to be PvP. But the end, the end bonus is, is really good, too. So we're going to read these. We're going to read those, and, you know, eventually, hopefully, we'll get that end bonus. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, let's go back. Uh, oh, no, I guess we don't have to go back to the trader because we're not, this wasn't a quest house. This was just a, a random loot. Where is my bike at? It's this way. Is there a door we can go out? Yeah, right here. And we've already picked it, so. Okay. Um, I am going to run back to the base, drop stuff off, 
and take a look at the time we, we have left, and we might have time to knock out one more. Okay, guys, we're back at the base. Uh, I don't think we have enough time to do another POI, but what I figured I would do is let's just kind of look and see what all we hauled in today, and then maybe we'll take a quick trip to the trader and make a little little bit of bank um, to wrap up this episode. So I, I put uh, stuff in, you know, all of these crates and see how much of it we can grab and still continue to walk over to our... Okay, we didn't get anything in there. Uh, we are also hungry and thirsty, so let's deal with that right now. We'll take a couple of bacon and eggs. In fact, yeah, we're going to need probably three bacon and eggs at least, maybe even more. And then we'll have a couple red teas. What do we get? 24, so that's 48. To, to, yeah, we need, and then let's have a, a water too. Okay, now we also have stuff in here. And we have stuff in here, but I'm, okay, now I'm too heavy to move. So let's take a look and see what is the heaviest thing in here. Uh, the engine is. Okay. Let's drop the engine in here temporarily. That's not normally where it will go. Um, can we grab it out of here again? And we're going to put it in here because this is my motor tools, uh, motor parts and tools chest. Uh, okay. So let's see. We're going to put that stuff in there. This is research, seeds and research. Uh, we're going to put the sham chowder in there, too. I'm being very careful not to put these in my food chest so I don't, you know, space off and accidentally eat them. Uh, this is ammunition chest. We'll put all that stuff in there. Everything that's locked up here will be fine. Uh, this is food. This is... This is, like, armor and kind of miscellaneous stuff, I guess. Um, we should look at this football helmet. We're going to lose some physical armor, but it's going to give us some stamina, noise, and mobility bonuses. So I need to consider that. Um, yeah. Okay. This is just general parts. We'll put stuff in there. This is resources. This is forge products. This is scrap items. And speaking of which, we're going to need to scrap that and that. And this, here, let's do another sort here so we get everything grouped in that. All right, so this is vendor. That might be vendor. I'll have to consider it. Vendor, 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 vendor. Okay, we're going to hang on to the pipe wrench. Let's put these pipes in here. The dirty water can go in there. Okay, looks like we have a couple more food items that we didn't uh, get in there. We have a new acid, which is great. Uh, lucky goggles, those are going to be vendored. Okay, we got more scrap items to go in here. Medical mats go in here. Medical products go in here. Presto logs could go in the campfire. And gunpowder over here. I don't usually do a lot of heavy inventory management on camera, but it's a good way to finish out the out this episode. And you guys kind of get to see what we came away with. So there you go. Hope you guys don't mind too much. I won't do it, do it often, but every once in a while, right? Now, does this beverage cooler have more room than this? I want to say it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull everything out of here. We're going to pick this guy up. And we're going to put the beverage cooler in its place. And this is, of course, for our completed uh, beverages. Can I put this on top? Oh, I can. Look at that. That looks cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we'll put the beverages in there. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put water, you know, just plain water in that. Um, oh, actually, I guess that's all I have for plain water. I mean, it's a lot. Uh, we might have to, I may have to make some more water in jars. Okay, so let's take a quick look at repairing this. That's going to require two iron platings. That's our new um, upgraded wrench. It's a, it's a next level up from what we were using. And then I'm hanging on to extra wrenches and hammers for now because I know we're going to need some of this stuff, you know, for some of the higher level workstations. Uh, so we're going to put that stuff in there. 
Okay, I think that gets... Oh, no, we still have all this stuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, let's quickly get this stuff put away, too. Okay, I think that takes care of everything. Let me just double check. Cardboard box is empty. That's empty. And I think we grabbed all of the stuff out of the trash can. I'm going to have to cut these trees down because these leaves are in the way. We did grab everything out of here, right? Yes, we did. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do as the last thing for this episode is we're going to go make a little bit of bank. So everything in here I want to sell. Um, and so we want to remove dye from anything that has dye on it. Yeah, we're gonna, we were going to look at that uh, that um, helmet too. I have to consider if I actually want to switch it out for the heavy helmet. Yeah, I think that takes care of everything that has dye on it. We'll put uh, this in here. Now we need to repair a couple of things. What's that required? Nine scrap iron. Really, scrap iron? I would have thought a football helmet would have required plastic. Not complaining, though. All right, so we'll repair that. This needs iron plating. Kind of figured that was going to be the case. So let's just grab a few iron platings because we might have a couple other things that we'll need it, too. All right, anything else that needs repair? Yes, the scrap iron armor needs it. This needs it. That needs it. This needs it. Those will require cloth to get repaired. That requires iron plating. These weapons, really, only iron plating. Wow, okay. That requires another iron plating. Sort that. Yeah, that significantly increases the, the price, of course, when we do that. All right, I think everything is now fully repaired that we want to sell. So let's put that back in there, this, and that can go back in there. Let's do another sort here. Now, I do have my other nerdies, right? Yeah, okay, so these are our main nerdy glasses here. I just want to double check because I don't want to accidentally sell those. These are the plus three um, luckies. We are wearing plus four, so we're good to go there. We're not going to accidentally sell that stuff. Let's grab a sugar butt so we get a little extra bang for our buck, quite literally. And I think we're ready to go. All right, let's go sell. I'm listening. All right, let's eat this. So we have 2,006 Dukes. Let's see what we have after we sell all of this stuff here. Oh, we forgot to repair that. That's right. Doesn't matter. Okay, so that uh, over doubles our money. Now, this... We've got, okay, so we're going to lose 1.1 physical armor and crit resistance for 0.3 more stamina, 10% better noise, and 2% better mobility. Uh, we would get 511 coin for selling this. You know what? I'm going to sell it. And I just don't, I, I think I would prefer to have that protection. So there we go. That gets us up to 4932 coin, and you have... Wait, That's right. yeah, you don't Do reset till day 33. We've already looked at your stuff, right, man? Let's just double check. I don't know, this almost, did we? This looks different. No, he had that Jonah's Rex blade in there. Okay, yeah, I think this is the same stuff he had before. What is that? Ooh, a sword. Well, that's cool. It does 22.7 damage. It's a little bit better than our steel combat knife, but... Yeah, I don't think I want to spend all... That'll take damn near all of my coin to buy. We can almost afford this. This would be nice to have. 
I find a lot, it seems like I find a lot more 7.62 ammo than 5.56 ammo. Uh, the scope would be nice to have for our hunting rifle, even though it's only a 2x. This bipod would probably help us with the spread on our AUC. And we don't really need the rad remover or the flashlight on it right now. Yeah, I'm going to buy that for sure. And uh, how much is this? Nine ninety. Nah, I think I'm going to hold off on that. All right, let's take a look. So this is the spread currently on the scope on this weapon when I aim down it. Let's see if putting the bipod mod on in place of the flashlight mod. Here, we can put that on here just to give it a little more extra. Um, 6.5 more damage. Okay, now let's see the spread. That doesn't... That didn't change it at all. Okay, what does this do again? Increases accuracy and handling when aiming weapons. Hmm. I thought for sure that would tighten up our spread, but it doesn't appear to do so at all. Okay, well, it's still a... I, I think it's still a better choice for this weapon than the flashlight mod. Flashlight mod's just really almost not necessary at all in this game when you have a helmet light. Uh, but anyway, okay, guys, that is it for this episode. We did make our, ourselves a little bit of bank today, and we got a uh, we got a new um, thing. I already got the stuff out of here, I think, that I wanted. Uh, let's just look at Aiden, or not Aiden, Raiden one more time. He likes to stay in the corner these days. A muzzle break. Yeah, that would reduce recoil. That wouldn't be bad for this one either. How much is it? Oh, wow, that's expensive. Nope. Good day. Well, good day to you too, my friend. We're not going to do that. Heck no. Hunter mod would be good for the hunting rifle. You guys have been telling me I should get some timed charges for some of the bigger safes. The thing is, is I'd rather take a jailbreaker and then lockpick the safe just so I get the, you know, the skill points for it. So unless I'm missing the point there, I think I'm going to continue to hold off on that for now. But let me let me know if I'm missing the point. Iron crossbow, spear hunter, a purple AK. Yeah, that's even more expensive. Gyro copter wheel, assassin. Yeah, that's just way too expensive to buy out, right? In my opinion. Okay. Farewell. Yep. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. We will probably do the same exact thing in the next episode, meaning random, systematic random looting. I just want to keep, I want to get this entire town looted. And then once we do that, if we have not found what we need to make a mini bike, I'm going to just get the mats and research what we need to make the mini bike. Once we have the mini bike, we are going to get the hell out of Dodge. That is the plan. I do not want to stay here any longer than we have to because there's just not a whole lot here for us. All right, that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.